I'm terribly sorry, but we're closed. Oh. It's a ghost. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm alive. Can I come in? Oh, yes, of course. But they said it was a plane crash and that everybody in it was dead and, and that you were... Oh, where have you been all these years? <laughs> oh. Ruby, listen to me. It's imperative that I speak to Robert right away. Do you know where he lives now? Oh, of course, we're still friends. He was just here a few minutes ago. I, I mean, I, I gave him a sandwich to take down to the police station. Police station? Oh, I'm sure he's there by now. I can't go there. But you said you had to see him right away. Yeah, but I, I can't risk anybody seeing me. Uh, well, he lives at the Weber house now. Oh. Yes. Yes, I know where that is. Thank you. Um, Ruby, can I ask you something? Please don't tell anybody that you've seen me. Well, even if I did, who's going to believe me? So it, it's our secret? Whatever way you want it. Thank you. Okay. You got it. Don't be a stranger. Come back. I will. Excuse me, I, uh, I... Holly. What are you doing here? Waiting for you. It's kind of cold out here, why don't we go inside? You don't mind that I'm here? <laughs> How do you think it matters? I mean, I know it's late. Uh, yeah. Well, anything look familiar here? The Webbers. Hey, you're cold. Can I get you a drink? Yes, please. Um, some sherry? Sure. Well, you haven't lost your flair for the dramatic. You're not upset that I'm here? Well, I wouldn't use the word upset. What would you use? Try confused. I'm sorry. Well, I doubt that. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. So, what's up? You in trouble? This, this really isn't very easy for me, Robert. I think at this stage of our life, we know each other well enough, so why don't you just... Cut to the chase. I wasn't entirely honest with you about why I came back to New York. Okay, well, let's, let's stick to the story here. Now, uh, you uh, were you were in a car accident and you're in a coma. Now that's that... all true. I swear. Okay. Well, I'll take your word for it. So why are you in New York? I. I was there. Working on a scam for the family. dark recesses of my mind, I suspected as much. You did? Well, and after all, it was your chosen profession when we first met. Right. As I was saying... Oh, pardon me. For a minute. Let's talk about the family. 
ailing, I hope. Robert. Come on, you can't defend them. Actually, I can. How? They stood by me through everything. They were incredibly generous. They paid for all those private doctors that saved my life after the accident. Touching. I owe them. Go on. They sent my cousin Barry and I to New York to retrieve an ancient stamp that's worth a lot of money. What sort of a stamp? It's called a Sphinx stamp. Dominique's husband stole it from my family. Oh. And you were stealing it back? As I said, retrieving it. I mean, why didn't your family do something thoroughly uncharacteristic and report this maybe to the authorities? Let the authorities do the retrieving. But no, that would never occur to them, would it? That's not the point. No, the point is that your family probably stole it from somebody else to begin with. Do you want to hear my story or not? Oh, come on, Holly. I mean, it's the same old story, isn't it? What do you mean? You're a scam artist when we met and nothing's really new, is it? And viva la difference. What's that mean? You look at things one way and I look at them the other. Tell me, what... What do you remember? How happy we were. Okay, well, let's not change the subject again. Now, what were you doing in New York? As I said, I was sent to retrieve something that rightfully belonged to the family. According to them. I'm not here to debate the issue. Okay, please go on. Well, the assignment was not as easy as it looked. First, we had to find the stamp. Uh -huh. Did you find the stamp? No. Of course. That's the reason you fled Dominic's party, isn't it? When we locked eyes. You're not making this easy. I had no idea that your brother had a relationship with Leopold Tobb's widow. As soon as I found that out, I didn't want any part of it. And why didn't you back out of it? You don't know my cousin. I felt like I owed him one more job. And not just Barry, the whole family. Even the buyer was ready to pay the family a fortune for that stamp. Did you know him? Not until today. He kept insisting that I continue working with my cousin. And if I didn't, then it would kill the whole deal. Did he? He just kept leaning on Barry and he kept leaning on me. Oh. <clears> Hold <throat> oh. The risk of sounding repetitive. What are you doing here? Well... After Barry and I had searched Dominique's apartment, come up with nothing, we realized that to continue the search for the stamp, we'd have to come to Port Charles. Because Dominique's here. Right, but I refused. I didn't want to muck up your life. But something happened earlier today. When I came face to face with the buyer for the first time, it's why I had to come here. I have reason to believe that that man is the one who has Anna. Describe it. Mid to late forties. Shoulder length hair, gaunt face, piercing eyes. It's enough. And, and I found this in, in his hotel room. contact. Good. Now listen carefully. I think I know where you'll find Anna's kidnapper. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it was a good authority. Yeah. Stanhope Hotel, room 501. Tear the place down. Get back to me. Thank you. You know, in chess, we would call this uh, the end game. I'm glad I could help. Look, it's getting very late. I don't want to intrude anymore. Holly, I'm not going to call a night until I find out whether they've got face on or not. Okay. Tell me, how did you get this from him? Um, I did a little snooping. Employing hmm. the tools of the trade. What prompted you to snoop? As soon as I saw him, something was nagging at me. He seemed so familiar. Well, uh, but what do you mean? Well, like I knew him. Did you? Had you? I think I think so. I think I'd known him a while ago. Robert. I think the Faison is Nanny McTavish's son. I found, you remember my nanny? I found a letter from her to him. McTavish was... Anna's nanny as well. Of course, I can't be 100% certain about this because I, I haven't seen Nanny's son since I was a child. It all makes perfect sense now. I mean, Faison seem to know her so, so well. Well, maybe I can get us some coffee. Uh, yes, please. Coming up. With a bit of luck by the end of the night, we're going to have this guy once and for all.